Fantastic. Guys, welcome to another Be Connected World Wednesday afternoon masterclass. Um, it's good to see, oh, we've got 30 people in the room now, and we know that we're still probably going to get a few more come in, so absolutely fantastic. It's great to see everybody. Uh, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to do the obligatory screenshot. Can everybody put their thumbs up, please? All right, and then what I'm going to have to do, because we've got two screens, is I've got to do another one. All right, if everybody can do it again. Fantastic. Thank you very much. All right. So today we have a wonderful team member that's been with us for oh, probably about eight, oh, probably two years now you've been with us now, Stuart. Uh, Stuart is a marketing guru and he's about to go through uh, LinkedIn and he's going to tell us all about creative profiles and how to get the most out of it. As I said, I'm fortunate enough to have seen this one 12 months ago. Uh, absolutely fantastic presentation. So Stuart, if I can ask everybody, please, to pop themselves on mute. Stuart, the floor is yours, mate. Why, well, thank you Count, kindly. Wonderful to see everybody, and thanks for stepping out. Anybody would think that people were interested in LinkedIn. Uh, so um, a bit, bit of a show of hands. Who's currently using LinkedIn just before we dive in? Fantastic. Shout out if you're not and it freaks you out because you're amongst friends. It's okay. Is anybody freaked out by LinkedIn? Okay, T Terry, I think. Okay, <laughs> excellent. Well, look, it's uh, it's it's totally okay. It's look, it, it really is a a very different platform. Um, and um, without further ado, I will I will dive in. Uh, and uh, I'm just going to say, um, who would like to be uh, a, a a participant? I think, I think uh, Jay, can we dob you in? Can we get you to share your share your screen? Is anybody else who wants to potentially? Share we their actually, LinkedIn profile. We actually did mine last time, so we can't do mine again. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll, we, we'll have a look. Well, I'll tell you what, whoever wants to um, send a message through in the chat, whoever's willing to put their LinkedIn profile up. Uh, and, um, okay, who is it? Um, Amy? Okay, fantastic. <laughs> Amy would love to uh, to see to see and, and be able to help you through as well. So what we're going to go through are a number of elements, and it's all about LinkedIn and how to maximize your profile potential. Now, who's actually gotten some business from uh, from from LinkedIn previously? Bit bit of a show of hands, a bit of a you can even pop into the chat. Have you been successful networking, and have you connected with somebody that's led to business via LinkedIn? So, uh, just pop something into the chat if it's a yes. Yes or a no. If it's a no, put a chat in. Networking, yes to Donna. Okay, yes from Ross. Okay, Debbie, fantastic. Okay, fantastic. All right. Um, yes, a couple of fabulous clients. Leonie, I would love for you to jump on the mic, if that's okay, and let us know your experience with LinkedIn and getting some fabulous clients because I love to hear that. Okay, no worries. Um, one was actually through LinkedIn Outreach. And the other one was just through post actually two I've had through people seeing my posts and connecting with me and then having a conversation and taking it from there. Wow. Anyone would think that you're an expert writer and you crafted an engaging post. Well, fantastic. That's it. So that that's brilliant. Okay. So that is that is excellent. Alrighty. So so and um excellent. Oh, and Alicia as well, you like to share. So Pedro, um, so yes, have you so you've had some business back through um through LinkedIn as well. A, a quick story from you, sir. I'd love to hear. From me, Stuart, sorry. Did you yes, say Pedro? absolutely. I did indeed. Um, yeah, I use LinkedIn to go trawling other people who I find attractive, engage in their posts, start a conversation, and then it leads into a very warm conversation about my business, keep them nurtured and pop them over. Brilliant. I love it. Well, that's it. So how do we do it? How do we... Um, how do we attract, you know, the, the right people to our profile? So um, now, like, I, I, I haven't for many a year, long stories, but but look, who's who's ever gone fishing before? Okay, so this is a really good, really good. Who's gone fishing? Now, have you gone out and you haven't got one bite? You've cast your line in and you've gone, there's no fish here. I can guarantee you there were, but you were using the wrong bait. Um, I always like to compare uh, LinkedIn and your profile to um to fishing for this who's heard of garfish anybody heard yeah. of garfish they're a they are a they are an interesting fish to catch look like a pencil 
very weird looking fish. Anyway, they float around the surface. So you need a different sort of bait set up. You need a float and you've, you've got to tie it up and put the hook and you've got, the, got to get the right bait on the end of the line as well. But they're surface feeders. So if you're fishing for garfish, do you just plonk your sinker in and go, oh, I didn't catch a garfish? Or do you have the right rig? So this is all about setting up the right rig. Absolutely. And as Leone will attest as well, as a writer as well, You've got to be posting, you've got to be having engaging content, there's more to it, and also your profile needs to be set up correctly as well, absolutely. Oh, look, I tell you what, Desiree, we, we've, we've gone through your profile as well. Everybody's profile, including mine, everybody's needs are good going through often. Okay, let's dive in, shall we? So that's me, um, and there will be an opportunity to connect as well. If you scan that one, uh, we can catch up on LinkedIn, um, and um, I've got a couple of other links in there as well. Is, is and of me, course, I'm the big connected world there, member. Oh, you should be seeing something. Let's just see. Are you still on the first it's screen? Completely black. Your black, black screen. screen. Hmm, so you, is, you used a black font on black background? Of course, of course. It's like a, so. Hey, I'll just, what I'll do, there it is. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so what I'll do? I'll oh, just yeah. turn my video. That's it. It's glitching out. It'll go away. It'll be there for a minute, and then it'll come back. Okay. Well, look. We'll, we'll, what we should, what we'll do is we'll we'll keep pushing on. I've just turned my video off, so you never know. We might be able to just kick kick back in. So here we go. So what we're going to be talking about is your LinkedIn profile uh, and a little bit about CKP Creative. So we are a digital solutions provider, as you might be able to see on the screen behind me as well, uh, and so. We provide branding services, website design and development, website maintenance, and also we love digital tools and systems. Can everybody see the screen now? Is that working? Yes. Yeah, yeah right. for whatever reason, it just doesn't like their QR code. That's it. That is totally okay. Okay, we shall march forth. Okay, so I've got a couple of questions for you. A LinkedIn. LinkedIn is. What is it? Okay. Uh, is it all about sharing cat photos? Uh, bit of a yes or no is it about sharing cat photos is it about sharing your own personal life no amy you're on it it's about business okay now during covid we spotted that there were a few people sharing things about their personal life and that was okay during that little bit of a blip but as we march forth it's <laughs> it's all about business again okay so now um so is it where you can maybe find a date no it's certainly not about where you can find a date. No, it's not a dating platform, not at all. Um, so who has actually had some very interesting connections um, that uh, you've gone, ah, oh, that is that is very, very strange. Who wants to connect with me here? Uh, and it's somebody from a makeup company or a beauty company. Look out for that. Okay, don't start the conversations uh, because it is absolutely somebody who is, uh, you know, not, um, let's just say, not in business. So, oh, so Alicia, you've had somebody try and scam you. So, can you um, do you want to jump on the mic and and talk about that? Have you? I'd love to hear about that uh, experience. Just sure. So, this person uh tried to offer me a job opportunity. This is fairly recent. This is like May of last year. Yes. Um, they tried to offer me a job opportunity to write this article for them, and they got as far as like almost signing a contract with me and then I found out that the way they would be paying with me the way they would be paying me is a printed check <laughs> and obviously that's fraudulent um because you you don't you don't just print checks from your computer <laughs> well Hey, I tell you, if we could all start printing checks from our computer, I guess we wouldn't need to be in business anymore. Well, we do. So <laughs> here we go. So this this is it. So beware, okay? Just like your phone might ring, you need to be aware of scammers as well. Check links. You must be very, very vigilant around things as well. And yes, there's been a few interesting ones. I've had uh, three or four people from uh, all over the world. I worked for a, um, a beauty company <laughs> and I did this and I did that. It, it's interesting. So look, check it out, read. You'll be able to tell, okay? It is getting better and better and the scammers are getting better and better, but you will know. Go and read their profile. Typically, they're poorly filled out and you'll be able to check it out too. Now, is it the same as Facebook? 
No, it's not. Okay. It's all about business. Is it only for job seekers? No, it's about connecting with business. The more connections, the better. Who thinks that? Does anybody think that if you got 5,000 connections, you're winning? Okay. Sorry, you're wrong. So it's all about having the right connections. Absolutely. So um, do you just connect with anybody? No, go and look at their profile. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. Okay. Um, it's just a resume. No, it's not just a resume. Although maybe uh, Alicia's might've been really good there and they, uh, they thought they'd found somebody, but look, it is about, um, about finding jobs as well. There is that aspect to us, to it, but as business owners, it's all about business. Okay. We're going to march forward. So LinkedIn is actually social selling and business networking. Who's heard about the term social selling? Bit of a shout of, ha shout, shout of hands, or if you can say yes or no in the chat for us as well. Just, just plow on in there. Has anybody heard of social selling? Okay. Okay. So no to Bo. Is it, is it no to Amy? Okay. No, Herrick. Okay. Fantastic. Yes. We've got some yeses and some nos, which is fantastic. So essentially, Networking. Um, oh, I'm just all having about a Connecting with. Hello, Alison. How are you doing? Um, mm -hmm. So it's all about connecting with people and networking essentially is social selling too. But this platform is super, super powerful. Okay. Um, and so uh, look, this is it. You've, you've got to be really, really careful and you can control people. Um, so we've just actually had Alicia say um, she's blocked somebody before. Who's blocked somebody on LinkedIn as well? Just checking. But if you show of hands, you can say yes or no into the chat too. You're blocking people. Good. Okay. Take control and set boundaries. It's really, really important. Okay. Um, super important to have those boundaries in place. And there's things that should never be crossed. Okay. Here we go. Um, we're going to march forth in. So what you should be doing on LinkedIn, you should be establishing your professional brand. So who has a totally complete profile to their liking, and they feel really proud of it, I want you to dive into the chat and say yes or no if you are incredibly happy with your profile. A good, we've got somebody honest there, Greg, no, okay. No from Alison, that's okay, no, okay. Cool. You think it could be better, I love it. There's always room for opportunity. Who else wants to dive in? Oh, it's getting there, okay. So 80% happy, I like it. Absolutely. You can always improve. So completing your profile, also on Be Connected World for anybody who's a member, um, with the customer in mind, okay? It's not about what you like. It's about what the customer is going to pick up on. A lot of people were saying, oh, I don't want to talk about myself. Has that ever stopped somebody from stateside? No, okay? And fantastic. We've got to take a little bit of a leaf out of people who, who, are, who are there talking about what they do and how they do it. Some people you'll know within five minutes what they had for breakfast, where they're going to after the meeting uh, and their life's dreams, hopes and wishes. Absolutely. Now, we need to condense that down and we need to tell a story on your LinkedIn profile as well. It's got to be engaging for your target audience, okay? So now completing this is really important and you've got to become a thought leader. It's no longer about cats and interesting things and where you went on the weekend. No, it's all about becoming a thought leader, okay? And we're going to go into the SSI index shortly as well, which is exciting. Has anybody heard of the social selling index? Bit of a yes or no? That's coming up in a couple of slides. Okay. So no. Okay. All right. Yes from Ross. Very good. You go to the top of the class. Leone. Yes. Okay. Fantastic. We'll go through. Well, I'm fan of this. Really, really good. Will there be a recording? Absolutely. So now let's march forth. This is really good. We've got some information to share that you're not aware of. I love it. Okay. Finding the right people. Who likes working with anybody? If somebody says yes, I'm going to be a bit cross. Okay, so who do we want to work with? We want to work with the right people. Who's gone through a process looking for their ideal client? Have you done that process? Feel free to say yes or no in the chat. Bit of a yes or no. If you've done it, fantastic. That's really good. If you haven't done it, I highly recommend that you go through and have a look. If you did it a while ago, do it again. Because you'll find the people that, fantastic, we're getting some yeses. Yeah, yeah, for on LinkedIn, no, specifically for your business, okay? So specifically for your business, AJ, 
um, this is it. This is like, who do you like to work with? It might be a, a style of business, a size of business. I like to work with people who've got five, five employees and up. Okay, event planners from Amy. I love it. Very, very good. Okay, but what sort of event planners? You've got to think about like that too. And also, where do they operate? Where are they? Are they on LinkedIn? Well, here we are. Let's, let's aim for those people that are on LinkedIn. Wedding vendors, fantastic. All right, this is brilliant. And wedding vendors are on LinkedIn, especially a good size of wedding vendor. So this is this is the information you need. Okay, so identifying better prospects, as it says on the screen, in less time using efficient search and research tools. That's how you can find people on LinkedIn, but you've got to know who to go after. It's really important. Bookkeepers, business coaches, mentors, who's writing this down? Because I tell you what, we will be writing this down. It'll be in the recording. Uh, if there's people that we can connect everyone to, let's do it. I'm sure there's people within the Be Connected world that we can find to connect with you as well. Okay, we're going to march forth. The next thing is engaging with insights. Now, we've just heard from a fantastic copywriter that posts lure people in. Now, are you who is liking and commenting and not just, yep, uh, actually making a thoughtful comment? Who's liking and thoughtfully commenting? on posts on LinkedIn. Oh, I, want a, I want a whole bunch of yeses. Neville, good one. Fantastic. Yes, Desiree. Fantastic. Ross, Leone, awesome. This is brilliant. Not a lot. Get into it, AJ. For sure. Pedro, I know you are because we're sharing posts back and forth. It's brilliant. Samu, fantastic. Sometimes, Donna, time to get into it. Okay, on LinkedIn, let's do it. It's really important to do that. Okay. So engaging with insights will help to throw that, uh, to actually cast that line out for people as well, because people might see you commenting. If you comment on somebody's post, who's somebody that you would like to work with, might, might be a wedding vendor, um, you know, our bookkeeper. Aha, they say fantastic. If you're commenting on people that you would like to work with and you're saying the right things, now don't be a, you know, don't say things that are like blatantly obvious, but look, go in there and share, be a thought leader, that's what it's all about. So engaging with insights, super, super important. And this is it. Um, discover and share conversation worthy updates, conversation worthy. So you're not going to walk in, walk up to somebody in a networking event and go, yep. Okay. You're not going to give them the thumbs up and go, yep, and walk away. That would be weird. Okay. So think about that. And if that's what's happening in real life, don't do it online because it is the same. It's the same experience. That's the same as connecting with somebody on LinkedIn and then never saying anything to them. It's like walking up to somebody and grasping their hand firmly for a handshake and then just looking at them. That will get awkward really quickly. Okay, so we want to be communicating all the time. We want to be connecting. We want to be sharing and engaging with insights. Very, very important. And of course, what are we here for? We're business owners. We're here to build relationships because at the end of the day, People work with, who wants to finish this statement? Who wants to dive in? People work with people they want to work with, people they know, like, and anybody. Trust. Thank you. Very good. Very good. Okay. No like, and trust. You can build that no like, and trust. Thank you very much in the chat as well. This is it. KLT sounds like a band from the 90s. I love it. But look, this is a thing. You've got to have that no like, and trust going on, and you can build that with messages, okay? You can seriously build that connecting with people on LinkedIn, commenting on their posts and marching forward. Okay, here we go. The anatomy of a profile. And we're going to start with who's seen that before on LinkedIn? Does that encourage you? Okay, does that encourage you to connect with somebody? Uh, I'm going to say no. Okay, what, is, what does that say, right? That says it makes you worry absolutely. Could be a ghostly figure. I don't know. Okay, um, devil no name. I love that photo. That's brilliant. Okay, an empty head. Absolutely. Good Lord, who does that? And, you know, and I'm going to say it as a guy, I see more guys' profiles that look like that. Okay, <laughs> it's, it's typically guys. I'll say that. Okay. Profile photo, dun, dun, dun. you've got to have one. Absolutely. So is there a photographer in the group? Just checking. A bit of a shout out. Is there a photographer in the group? I think we've got two, haven't we? We've got two. Okay. I'm going to start with Amy first. Amy, um, question for you. Should your profile photo be the last photo that you were wearing something neat 
cropping out your, um, you know, uh, your partner and then putting it awkwardly up on LinkedIn? Yes or no? I just say no. Okay, <laughs> good stuff. Okay, um, so over to AJ. AJ, so um, should it be a photo of you um, at the beach in your Speedos? Maybe if you're a surf lifesaver, but apart from that, probably not. Nice response. Absolutely. Your your LinkedIn photo should absolutely reflect what you do. And no Speedos, I completely agree. We'll leave that to former prime ministers. Now, this is the thing, <laughs> budget smugglers. Is that what is that what uh, people from the government? Do? Anyway, marching forth. Here we go. So this is a thing we don't want to be portraying a, a, a an, an unprofessional image. Okay. So here we go. Get ready. Shield your eyes. Whoa. Okay. So right in the middle of the screen, there you got somebody who's got flash eyes. Um, <laughs> people who are on bikes. We got there. We go. We got the classic. There's even there's two wedding photos. Somebody laughing, that's nice that you think so, think things are funny. What about the guy looking, what's that? Is that look away? I think it is. Okay, we've got a big collection. Um, here we go. So so look, I'm going to say if any of your photos look like this, including Moonface on the top left-hand corner, let's not look like these people, okay? So, so this is the thing. You want to have a very, very good profile photo that fills the frame, leaves some headroom, has a professional look, you can, you can show a bit of teeth, okay, with your smile, have a professional smile, okay, and a background that's appropriate, okay? Um, maybe not of cricket and not of the um, last time I went for a ride on my bike. Let's not do that, okay? So professional is what we need to be, and you can just have a background removed, and it's you there, or if you are perhaps in the environmental game as well, why not have something in the background that's environmentally related? Absolutely, but not too cluttering as well. Nicely lit, you know, um, if, you, if you want to put on a bit of eyeliner, do it, okay? You want to trim your eyebrows? I recommend it. Uh, and away you go. Look your absolute best and get a professional photo. Is this correct? Okay, am I, am I making sense out there? Bit of a yes or a no. Here we go. Is this making sense to everybody? Okay, fantastic. Okay, good stuff. And look, you can, in fact, take a really good photo on a modern phone. You can do it, but you've got to follow some guidelines as well. Okay. You've really got to make sure you've got that lighting and everything marching forth. You can do it. I recommend getting one professionally shot by a professional photographer because that's what will get the best result. Okay. Marching forward. Have a look at this. Who has got a naked banner behind their head? Be honest, do you just have the bog standard, nothing going on, swirly bits on your LinkedIn profile? Okay, bit of a show of hands. Who has got a professional banner behind them on their LinkedIn profile? Bit of a dive in, You uh, did a custom? Okay, very good. Yes, yes, no to Donna. Time to do something about that. Yes, this is brilliant. Okay, not sure. Go and have a look, Debbie. We'll, we'll find out. Uh, you, if you're if you're game to share your uh, share your screen, we might uh, we might get that organised. Okay, so now here's the thing. This is a uh, you've got a photo. Well, of course you do, AJ. That's uh, that goes goes. That's par for the course. But here we go. A way to display it. So this is literally down to the dimensions and the pixels. Okay, now I'm going to put a uh, a link in the chat shortly. If you fill that out, I'm going to send you a. A, a guideline on how to do this yourself. If you want to do this in Canva, if you want to reach out and get something professionally designed, let me know. We do it on a daily basis, okay? So having the logo above your profile photo, brilliant. Don't make your profile photo a logo unless it's a company page. We're going to be talking about company pages as well. Okay, having an image relevant to your business or product as well in the middle that explains what you do. And on the right-hand side, a call to action, something telling people what problem you solve. Okay, in the in the room here, I'd love for you to tell me, okay, do you, do you as business owners, do you solve problems? Bit of a yes or no in the chat. Okay, Bodo, yes, yes, fantastic. That is the correct answer. If you make problems, wow, I think you're in the wrong room. <laughs> okay, but here we go. If we're all problem solvers, we've got to have that CTA on the right-hand side telling people what problem you solve. It is vitally important. Let's march forth. 
your banner, okay, you must have a decent banner and have it with these elements on there or at least something relevant, not the gray one, okay? That's it. All righty, marching forward. Let's have a bit of a look at a typical LinkedIn profile. Okay, so we've got the beautiful profile image. We've got the logo up there above the uh, above the profile image, image relevant, CTA, tagline underneath. Okay, now there's certain things that, um, that LinkedIn will actually complete for you. Okay, so add it automatically by LinkedIn. Now, some of the things that you won't see uh, anymore are the hashtags. You may see them depending on whether your profile's been updated because creator mode, which they introduced a while ago, is now built in and is native on every profile, which is brilliant. Okay, so those elements that you would have to turn on. What is the CTA? Sorry, Amy, I missed that. That is a call to action. I promise I will explain every three letter acronym from now on in. <laughs> okay, so no more assumptions. Okay, so Here's the thing, um, you really want to have a compelling headline, who you work with, what results you can achieve, and a CTA drawing attention to your featured section. Really important. Who in the room knows what a featured section is? Who's using and knows what a featured section is? Yes, Alicia, fantastic. No, Desiree, that's okay. We're going to go through it as well. We're going to be sharing the screen in a second and we'll march forward. That's where you can show your specialities as well, okay? Another thing I'd love to ask here as well, who has paid for LinkedIn? Who has got either premium or sales navigator? Who's using premium or sales navigator? Okay, Leone, yes. Okay, no. Got it. Okay, sales net, fantastic. Got some people buying in as well. We're going to be talking about that too. Okay, so you'll see anybody that's got a paid for profile is going to have a gold icon on the top right-hand side there that shows that they're paying for their profile. That shows that they're pretty something you should really be connecting with as well. Absolutely. Okay, so now you can turn on and off your connections, okay? Did everybody know that? Okay, so this is the thing. You don't have to show your connections publicly, okay? So you don't have to show how many you've got because people will then go through and, of course, troll your connections. We don't want that, do we? Okay, so you've got to have your contact information, Okay, when was the last time you checked your contact information? I connected with a client recently who had an old email that was shared. Photo, brilliant. Top of the class. You get a gold star, sir. So here's the thing. I was, I was looking at a client's profile because we regularly do profile audits along with social media audits and going through. And this lady had a shared email with her ex-husband on there. Now... I don't think she was getting those emails anymore and neither was he. So this is the thing. Check your contact information. Make sure you've got a professional email. If it's a hotmail, hotmail is becoming problematic. Okay. Yes, I will talk through that in a moment, Desiree. Absolutely. So so this is the thing. Um, if you've got your current contact information in there, don't make it hard for people to connect with you. Make it easy. People have said, oh, I don't want to show my email. So you don't like money. That's my comment, okay? People can connect with you and they might email you. If you get some spam through your email, look, that's the cost of doing business. But if you make it difficult for people to connect with you, that's one more hurdle. Let's not give anybody a, um, a hurdle when contacting with you because sometimes they might not be regular LinkedIn users, okay? So that's the benefit of having a... Um, uh, an email address in there as well. Now, showing your connections. If you've got 10 connections, no one will connect with you, okay? So I'm going to say turn it off, all right? So go through the settings and have a look and turn it off. Uh, that way, you don't have to show people how many connections you have. Uh, I, I you, just How do you do that, Stuart? That is back in your profile. We can dig through and have a look at that. Anybody that wants to dig into some of these things, we may run over time. If we're going to do this, we may even have to go to a part two. Uh, but but look, this is the thing. You can turn that off. All right. So the next thing is who notices that you change something on your LinkedIn profile and all of a sudden the whole world is going, congratulations. And it's actually your own business you're posting about. Uh, right. So this is the thing. Turn that off as well. Turn off connections and turn off that announcing to your network every time you scratch yourself. Okay. You can turn it on 
when you want that to happen, but it's advisable to turn it off. It's just noise, okay? We don't want to be doing that as well. Okay, so look, we've gone a bit around the clock. I'm going to come back up to the top. Now, who in the room finds it important, and it is totally okay, who in the room finds it important to have pronouns? I'd like a show of hands. This is a bit of a bit of a survey, a bit of a live survey. Say yes or no. No. Okay. No, no. no. Cool. No. Okay. Cool. All right. If you do, that is okay. Okay. That is super okay. If you want to share your pronouns. Here's the thing. If you don't feel that it's important to show your pronouns, guess what? It's another way to show your specialism. You can go in there and actually put down whatever the heck you like professional photographer, okay, event specialist, you know, a bookkeeper to the stars, okay? So, and yes, it really depends. If you want them on there, have them. I think more power, absolutely do it. But those that don't go in and have custom pronouns and put in there what the heck you want, okay? So it is another way to, to write another compelling headline and another problem problem that you solve as well. So, We've gone through what will be populated automatically by LinkedIn, okay? Your latest company, your latest education, make sure they're into your profile, okay? So, um, uh, look, absolutely, put your use your custom pronouns to, to, to advertise yourself. Desiree, absolutely, I highly recommend it. Use every bit of area you can. Look, you know, maybe a tattoo on the back of your head, maybe that's a bit much, um, but I'm going to say, switching your pronouns out to actually writing that down on there as well and writing what you do is a brilliant thing as well. Contact information, make sure that's up to date. There's things that are going to go up there by LinkedIn and will be there. So I'm going to suggest that you complete your profile. Okay. So providing services. These are some of the services that we provide as well. Who, no worries, Pedro. See you soon, mate. Um, so here's the thing. Your services, who's added their services to LinkedIn? Who's proudly showing their services? Okay, tags, depending on your profile and how it's been updated, they may or may not be on there. So we're going to go back and have a look, okay? So we'll have to have a look at your individual profile too because there was a shift a while ago as well, okay? So now um, you can put links in as well, okay? So see where it's got uh, your complete contact information? A link, you can put links on your profile. If you have a premium profile, you have more opportunities to actually add links as well. Coming back to services, this is the editing part. And who's ready to show their profile at this point? Okay, who's who's who dares? Who's going to do it? Okay, okay, Amy. All right, you're first, Amy. All right, so so all righty, let's have a let's have a look. Okay, fantastic, AJ. I am I'm proud that you're identifying as a photographer. That is brilliant. Excellent. I love it. Well, let's tell you what. Amy was the first person to jump in. Can we allow Amy to share uh, yep, to share sure. screen? Brilliant. Sure. Amy, yep. Amy, dive in. Okay, I'm going to stop my share here. Okay, brilliant. Amy, dive in. Let's have a look. Excellent. Okay, have a look at that now. Have a look at what Amy's got on her profile, though, as well. Open to work. Fantastic. Who's confused at this point that Amy is open to work or not? Nobody, right? Brilliant. There are um, some of those overlays that you can choose from. Okay, so, and you've got, uh, so um, absolutely the banner is taken up with with a full a full banner of, of name and photography, brilliant as well. I advise to go through and maybe put in an example in the middle. You could put your logo to the left and then tell people what you do. Take the advantage to go in there and actually show people and give them that call to action and maybe even add your company tagline too. So we've got company, company profile. Well done, Amy. This is brilliant. And also we've got education front and center as well. So Amy, let's have a look at your contact info, shall we? Fantastic. You've got your profile. Who knew? Okay. Show of hands or in the chat, who knew that you could customize your profile link? Did you know that? Okay, yeah. yes from Ross. Okay, fantastic, no. Okay, you can go and customize that. Okay, um, a client of ours now has Strata Lawyer, right? No one else can have forward slash Strata Lawyer in the world now. He owns that forward slash. How good is that? 
So you can own your space. Once again, this is deep inside your profile. We may have some time to look into it, but we, we really need to go through and look at the opportunities, okay, as well. Having your mobile on there, brilliant. You got your company website on there and your email. Well done, Amy, that's brilliant. Okay, so what you can do to improve that is add a custom link because numbers on the end, hey, look, it's all good. You're an individual, but if you can change that again as well, why not? Okay. So, and you could dive in there and edit that. But let's let's keep, we'll keep marching forth if you like, or let's have a look. Okay. So um, now, oh, here we go. So we'll, we'll, we'll keep, we'll, let's keep moving forward. Who's seen Verify now and who, who's actually gone through and verified? Have you managed to verify yourself? Guess what? Australia is not on the list. Okay. But thank you for clicking on that. Verify with your persona. If you are not in Australia, you can use an a, a NFC style uh, passport and you can verify yourself. So, and have a look, it's giving you all the stats. Wow, you're going to get all this, but not in Australia, not yet, unless it's changed in the last five days. So it's this is the thing. So you can go through, verifications are free. Now, somebody said to me, I don't want to be verified. They're going to have my information. This is another way that people can actually take my identity I'm going to say, it's a big no. You use your New Zealand passport. Nice one, Ross. Good on you. Always a way to work it around. I love it. Excellent. Good stuff. So this is the thing. You can do that, but Australian passports up until a few days ago still weren't working. So now where does that information go? That information goes back through a, a system owned by LinkedIn as well, and LinkedIn is owned by Microsoft. So it is nice and secure I would not be concerned about it. If you are, look, it's optional. You don't have to do it, okay? So, in, and uh, Neville, you've had problems with that as well. Yeah, you're going to have problems if you're in Australia, not from New Zealand, in which case anybody from, from New Zealand, please go right ahead and verify and we'll all be dead jealous. Okay, so if you can jump back to your profile there, please, Amy. Thank you so much for allowing us to go through your profile. This is brilliant. Okay, so... Um, here's the thing. So you've got your connection showing there as well. And look, I'm going to suggest you're at a really good point, okay? Because you don't have 5,000 people you wouldn't know from a bar of soap. You've got 46 connections that you, how many of those 46 connections do you know? That's okay. No worries. Well, th thanks for coming along and uh, check out the recording. If people do have to go, that's totally okay. All right. So 46 connections. Amy, do you know these people? Probably five. Okie doke. Are you just connecting with people that pop up or are you vetting the connections? This is a thing. Are you doing that or are you just wildly connecting with people? Vetting mostly. I'm going to say vet all of them because otherwise you're going to end up with a whole bunch of people that want to start selling you things. Okay. So this is quite often called a pitch slap. Okay. So you'll connect with somebody and they'll immediately dive in and they'll want to sell you something. This Is that what you do? Do you walk up to somebody you first met at a barbecue and say, hey, would you like a... No, you don't, okay? Right, you get to know people because it's the old KLT, right? Know, like, and trust. People will work with you when they know you, okay? How do you vet? Fantastic question. Every time somebody goes to connect with you, go and look at their profile. Read it through. Do they fit your ideal client profile, Okay. So take some time to go through and have a look. And if you don't know, you just hit the X and they won't even know. It'll sit there as pending and, you know, you're not going to suddenly be gaining enemies. Don't worry about not connecting with everybody because who wants to work with anyone? Hey, Jay, what do you think about people that say, I'd like to work with anyone? What's I your... don't mind not, mate. If oh, you, look. If you don't want to work with anyone, you need that person. Yeah, that's, that is correct. That is correct. I can say I walked into a networking event. There were 130 people. I gave one car to one person. That led to a referral of $50,000 within three weeks. Now, I wasn't part of that process, but the person I gave the referral to was very happy. So was the person that connected. This is the thing. There was only going to be a few people that you really should be doing business with. Be picky because you're allowed to. It's okay. All righty. So here we go. Now, notifications. Okay, so up the top. And messaging, okay? I'm just noticing there, okay? You'll see this. Let's click on a notification. Let's have a look, okay? So, all right, here we go. You've appeared in 13 searches. Well done. That is really good. Okay, um, good stuff. Fantastic. 
You can get premium for a month. Go for it, but set a reminder if you don't want to pick up a pick on it. Mark Grant's dived in. Uh, people who are really active, brilliant, brilliant. Okay. So it's people throwing roles up as well. So this is a thing you can go through and vet all of this. People are saying happy birthday, brilliant. Okay, good stuff. Now, this is the thing. This is where you can vet people that will pop up in these notifications, okay, uh, and also in your network as well. And you can go through and look at these notifications and say yes or say no, but be picky because you don't want to work with, with, with anyone or you're going to make Jay angry. No, <laughs> you basically, it's not good for business. It's not good to just work with anybody. Be picky. You deserve it, okay? So with messaging as well, don't go in and sell people something straight away. That is not the way it should be done. You've got to have nice conversations as well, okay? So this is the thing. Look, we've got some lovely conversations going on here as well. Don't pitch slap people. Don't sell people. Have a nice introductory conversation with people. There are lovely systems and tools out there. Uh, there's one called My Most Trusted, which is in there as well. There are some other tools that you can utilize as well. Be careful with the tools because you can get shadow banned. Okay. So now what's Deborah saying? If you have two businesses, you clearly, okay, let's have a look at this. Sorry, I'm coming through. Thank you for all the messages. This is, this is fantastic. Do you recommend culling? Yes, I do. Connect with the person. If they ghost you, give them a week. Sometimes people aren't active on LinkedIn but suss it out, okay? All right. If you have two businesses, you clearly need two pages. Yes, you can have a feature page as well. Absolutely. So searching is a brilliant thing, okay? So you can go through and find people that way as well. We're going to tuck into that in a moment. Can you duck back to your profile, please, Amy? And thank you so much for sharing as well. And of course, um, we, we'd love for you know everybody to uh, to share their details and connect within uh, the group as well. It'd be brilliant. Okay, so add a profile section. Okay, so if you don't have a profile section, this is where you can go through and add some information. Okay, so let's keep scrolling down the page as well. LinkedIn will always prompt you to do more. Okay, um, okay, this is your personal one. I did a business one. Uh, okay, so here's the thing: if you've got two profiles. I'm going to say, mm, look, I mean, I'm always in two minds about having two profiles. Okay. So now is that a business page or it is, or is it a business profile? Okay. So it's good to have a company page, company page. Great. When you've got two profiles, very confusing. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. So company page, really important. Amy, let's talk. We'll go through and have a look and see if we can unpick this for you. I'll be, I'll lay money on the fact that that's actually a company page. Okay, so do you want to just, just click through on that? Why not? Okay, followers. Okay, let's have a look. This will be the telltale sign, logging in. Okay, fantastic. So you've got a company page. Congratulations. Well done. So here's the process. Share a company-based announcement to your company page and then share it back on your personal profile, okay? That flow is share a company update. For example, if it was Be Connected World, hey, we've got some fantastic, um, you know, uh, look, this event here, okay? We've got a masterclass on. That should come from the company, okay? And then it goes back and Jay shares it out, okay? This is the great picks there as well. Well done, Amy, fantastic. And that's a really good example of sharing something too. Okay. And look, there's the Be Connected World company page as well. I love it. Okay. Being actively. Can I, can I just point out, AJ Hayes has put uh, put a post up on Be Connected World today and it's already showing up on LinkedIn. It's been zapped oh, over. I love it. I love it. Now, now, Jay, is that because you've got some connected and integrated systems? Oh, we, 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 we do happen to have this mild managed CRM called Be Connected CRM that allows us to do all of that. Yes. Fantastic, fantastic. Now, if you don't have that CRM, have a chat to Jay. Or if you've got another one, there are lots of systems that do similar things, okay? So use tools. And like people are saying, I don't want to use AI. Go and use it. You'll be fine, okay? It won't bite you. Now, let's have a look as well. So we've got some analytics here too. You can actually see what's been going on, okay? How active things are as well. Now, in a second, I'm going to come back and share some things on the screen. Amy, you've been an absolute champion. Now, one more thing. Could you scroll down a little bit further? And let's have a look at your about. 
okay, and top skills. Here's a thing as well. All right, so let's have a look. Amy, okay, fantastic, party events. Love, love what I do, brilliant, okay. Lots of energy. It's sharing about your professional experience. Professional, great, managing, training, okay, great. Very good. Okay, that's that's a that's an excellent summary there as well. I highly recommend that you get your summary 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 professionally written as well. Do that. Is there a copywriter in the room that might agree with me? Just checking. All right. So this is the thing. Okay, Chat GPT. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's just think about this. If Chat GPT can do everything, fantastic. I think it's getting close. It can do some things, okay, but having a personal touch on your summary is really important, okay? Use it as a, as Deborah said there as well, start and then tweak it, make it your own. Um, don't use it for your copywriting on your web page. I've seen up to 20% plagiarized copy on chat GPT generated copy, chat GPT generated copies. Be very, very careful. Tweak it or tweak it a lot. Otherwise, it's very obviously stilted. Look, it's getting better. Always write it yourself. I'm going to say personal touch. Always good. Top skills. See those top skills that are showing there as well? Okay. This is brilliant. Can you kindly click through on top skills? Here we go. Interactive. Okay. This is good. Okay. So let's have a look at this. So you can go through and tweak things, okay, on your top skills and people can vote for your top skills as well. Okay. So this is it. It is brilliant to have this and tweak these as well. Plunge into your profile and go and have a look and see where you can go through and tweak your skills too. All righty. So as I said, we are going through a lot and there's some things we which we won't be able to dive into. And so uh, coming up later, right, I'm going to be offering a person, you got to connect with me on the link I'm going to share as well. I'm going to offer you a full consulting service to go through one individual's profile. Um, and that's normally, um, yeah, I not normally I charge quite a bit for that. So look, if you uh, connect with me as well and reach out, I'll be going through and drawing that as well. Absolutely. Okay. So, uh, so Alicia, uh, had it for the first time. Do rent for copy versus copies. <laughs> very, very good indeed. Okay. So, thank you so much, Amy. That is brilliant. Okay. So, any questions about what we just looked at? Please pop them in the chat. If we can't get to you, we will come back to you as well. Okay. So, if you got any questions, we'll come back. All right. Brilliant. Thank you very, very much. All right. So. I'm going to quickly share my screen again. All right. So we're going to dive back in. Now, what we're going to be looking at, okay, is uh, so we've had a look at the profile. Thank you so much, Amy, for sharing. And we've gone through a lot of these elements. All righty. So now the next thing is, um, all right, one moment. Can everybody see the screen? Yeah. Great. Excellent. Company pages. Yes, it's a must. Set one up. LinkedIn will tell you when you have enough on there i'm going to say your all of your linkedin profiles whether it's company or personal always need work okay it will never quite be completed always go through and keep updating google loves it as well because it is searchable on the internet i will if i'm trying to track down somebody i'll put their name in and linkedin first let that happen okay why use a paid level, okay? You're going to get some AI-powered tools. You're going to be able to find and connect with the right people. No, I'm not sponsored by LinkedIn, but it is well worth investing. Have a look. You also get the use of um, some in-mails. Who's heard of in-mail? Has anybody heard of in-mail? Say yes or no in the, in the chat as well. Anybody? Okay, so in-mail, fantastic. So in-mail is a way to skip the hurdle of being connected with people, okay? So in-mail is very good, and you get those when you have a business, a premium account, uh, and especially when you have a sales navigator account, okay, as well. It is very, very useful, but it is not an opportunity to pitch slap people as well. Okay, so they are the costings, okay? If you get that free offer, use it, okay? maybe use a custom generated credit card so that it doesn't kick over and somebody in the house gets annoyed. Yes, that's happened. Um, so <laughs> this is the thing. Try it, have a look 
and see how effective it is. I'm going to say having a paid for profile has actually given me so much more reach. It is brilliant. Okay. So all right, we're going to keep marching forward. All right. So that is, we're talking about premium and sales navigator. Sales navigator can connect through and integrate with your CRM as well. It is brilliant. There are lots of ways of connecting through to CRMs. That is a brilliant one. Okay, so how well are you doing? Okay, so this is a snapshot of my SSI score. Okay, what is an SSI score? You can check how well you're doing on LinkedIn. Okay, so this is it. See the link at the bottom there. I will put that link. Uh, I can put that link into, into chat as well. But if you just want to grab that out, okay, grab that link out. So type that in. This used to be only restricted to people who had Sales Navigator. So I encourage you to dive in and have a look. Who's who's my uh, who's going to be my next victim to quickly share their SSI score, or who'd like to call it out? Okay, so if you go to www.linkedin.com forward slash sales forward slash slash SSI, it will show you fantastic Ross, brilliant, excellent Ross doing a seventy one. Congratulations. Photo, fantastic, good stuff. Okay, excellent. Who else? Who else wants to dive in and have a look and share their SSI score as well? This is a combination of how well you are connecting, commenting, and how well your profile is connected. It is brilliant. Okay, so social selling index. That's what we've been talking about because it's 76. Amy, well done. You're smashing it. Keep doing that, please. It keep doing what you're doing. Do more of it. That is brilliant. Okay, so that is excellent. All right, so so your SSI is incredibly important. It keeps you um, honest and up to date with how well you're doing on LinkedIn. Okay, now marching on. Let's have a quick look. Let's look Boolean search. Now I'm. I don't think we're going to have a chance to get through all of this. I encourage you to go and look for Boolean search. This is the secret, okay? If you have a free version of LinkedIn, a free, that's okay. 16 out of 100, you, all I see there is nothing but opportunity. Don't feel disheartened. It's just letting you know where you're at. Everybody needs, needs a good bookkeeper to, tell, to, to let them know where they're at. You just need somebody like me to let you know. 21, Greg, that is okay. Keep going, all right? It's brilliant. So please, has anybody, so, so please look up Boolean search. Who's heard of Boolean search? Bit of a show, bit of a yes or no in the chat. Okay, yes, yes, brilliant. No, okay, fantastic. If you don't, please go and have a look. There are a million blogs written on this, but go through and have a look and create a Boolean search. It enables you to act nothing to do with gold, all right? Um, it's spelt differently. So it enables you to refine with some search terms to search for who you want to show up on LinkedIn. Okay, brilliant. Okay, so I'm showing some information here as well. If you're watching the replay, you'll be able to pause and read. Okay, and have a look. This is brilliant. I'm getting to another slide here as well. Okay, here we go. Come back and look at the recording. I'm going to say, explore this. Boolean searching is absolutely brilliant. I know we're getting close to time as well. Okay, so here we go. Who networks in person? I'm sure you all do. Okay. If you bring out your LinkedIn app and hit search up the top on the right-hand side, can you see, I don't know if you can see my mouse. There's this little QR code symbol. Click on it. Da -da. I used this not an hour ago, and I connected uh, with some amazing business owners at a Queensland um, Business Month event. Use that in person. This is brilliant. So everybody who's got a LinkedIn app has got this possibility, okay? So you can go there. You click the search bar at the top. Click that on the side. Then you can share your QR code. And if you see on this side as well, the scan, you can click there and scan somebody's. Yes, that's on your phone. Absolutely. That's on on your app. Hence the skinny bit. Uh, they only look that like that if you uh, if you stand your computer up the wrong way. Don't do that. Okay, now marching forward. Okay, a conversation. Okay, here we go. Uh, a con converting LinkedIn profile, an optimized LinkedIn profile is going to help you to no end. Okay, it's going to help you to do all of these elements. 
attract people, build credibility, uh, increase your visibility. Who wants to generate leads? Okay. Everybody want to generate leads and grow their business? Brilliant. Optimize the heck out of your profile. Get it working. It can enhance your in-person networking and you stand out from the crowd. Don't be Nigel No-Face like we had on that first one. Get out there, get amongst it and get your LinkedIn profile marching forth. Go and complete your profile, okay? You really need to go through and complete your profile, okay? And this is it, okay? This is how you can level up. Be a connector, write and share, add video, post, make sure you, you know, you're, you're sharing, okay? Get out there and get amongst it. Ask and give recommendations. This is how it is happening. Okay, 52, well done, Alicia. That's okay. So now, thank you so much. And I'm, I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, uh, I'll just skip back there. If you can see that, we will share this out. I will email you all directly as well. Um, if you get a chance to, scare, to scan that QR code, okay, and fill that out, I have a freebie for all of you. But we will be connecting via email. For those people that have to dash, thank you so much for sharing your time today. And do we have time? If we do have time for a couple of questions, what, what are you thinking there, um, Jay? Do you, want, do you want to stop sharing first? I can stop sharing. I can do that, absolutely. Uh, I, I, look, I, I'd just like to say, I mean, yeah, look, we'll, we'll do a few questions. We'll give them another four or five minutes. I, I just want to shout a massive shout out for you uh, for two reasons, Stuart. One, for, for putting this on, and two, for actually only going two minutes over time. Uh, that, <laughs> is, that is not what you normally do, mate, so I'm very impressed. But look, Stuart, absolutely fantastic. Guys, you, we have three. We have three minutes. Does anybody have any questions they would like to ask of Stuart right now? I mean, I strongly suggest that if if you do have something you need to know, reach out to him. Uh, this this guy, I, I'm going to swear he knows his shit. He really does. Uh, that's why we we have it uh, as much as we do on on Beacon Energy World. So, any, any questions before we go? Nobody. Everyone's sitting there with their brain leaking from their ear. <laughs> I, I remember when I first saw this, Stuart, I had a headache for five days afterwards, just going, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. And and I was then sitting there going through it going, oh, yeah, I still haven't really looked at it for another year. Uh, Ross has got his hand up, mate. Absolutely. Ross, hit me up, Ross. Yeah, just uh, you, when you go to face-to-face, -face, it's interesting having this scan, do you, would you you prefer to use your LinkedIn as opposed to them scanning your Q, your QR code to download your all your details from your phone? This is the thing, what, and this is what I found today at an event. Okay, and and Deborah, I'm coming back to you. So yes, use your LinkedIn. It's the quickest, fastest way to get in touch with somebody. Okay, and at that point, they've commented, and somebody said, "I'll give you my email." And I know why they gave the email is because their email isn't in their contact section. Have that updated. Okay, but use it as a tool when you're out networking. It is brilliant. Uh, look, I have, uh, Nick, I actually have, I've got my own. We make them. We've got digital business cards. But look, being able to connect on LinkedIn is one step. Don't make it difficult to connect with people. Make it easy. And LinkedIn is as quick as a snap to get in there as well. And when they do connect, you know when it happened, all right? So you can even get them to mention in the connection, hey, look, we met at. Okay, Deborah, question for you. Thank you so much for your question there. Deborah, you're on mute. I'm ready. We're ready to hear from you. Deborah Jane. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, I just want to know, I, I often see on LinkedIn that people have like a whole list of all their careers and what they've done. Is that really relevant or should you just focus on where you're at right now and promote that? Deborah, brilliant. You get gold stars up the wazoo. Okay, now here we go. Having everything on there is irrelevant, okay? I, I worked uh, at a mobile service station uh, when I was 16 um, on the console and uh, renting out VHS videos. Does that bear any relevance to my career now? No, okay? It was a horrible job. Oh, God, it's terrible. But anyway, this is the thing. Um, don't have everything on there. Have a select, go through and edit because you're in control, okay? You can edit what you show, how you show it, and get it up there. Now, look, 
let's not be like the guy, what was it, uh, catch me if you can. Um, you don't want to be uh, making up things, but absolutely um, have what is needed on there, not everything. Fantastic question. Thank you so much, Deborah. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And time for one more. Alicia. So uh, what is your best advice for getting the uh, sales navigator score up higher? Ah, SSI. Here's the thing. It's connecting with the right people. You was running late. I'm still on the master class. So well, connecting. Yes. So so uh, we'll, we'll wrap up in a sec. But the brilliant question. Okay. Now, when you open up your SSI, okay, um, on the top, there's a little question mark on each of them. When you click on that, it gives you a summary. But the, but the whole thing is comment, like, share, connect with the right people because LinkedIn is very clever, okay? It's like Google, right? So it will know who you are, what you do, and how you do it. And if you're connecting with gardeners, brilliant. If you're in the same industry and you really want to connect with gardeners, but if you're randomly connecting with anybody, it will know that you're not connecting with the right people, okay? And each of those little bars will reach up and we can we can only hope to be right up there with, uh, I think it was, who, who had 76? Is that, or 71? Is that Ross? No, I think that was, uh, was Damien, I think, wasn't it? Oh, fantastic. Well, look, keep smashing on. That's a bloody brilliant score. Keep going with that. It comes from doing what you should be doing on LinkedIn. So that's brilliant. So look, like, share, connect with people. Don't just connect with them and sell. Develop relationships. Make sure you've got all of the information that you're proud of and you want to connect with people, the right information on your profile and you will be like a connection magnet on LinkedIn. Thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate it. Beautiful, Stuart. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody, for turning up. As we said, this will uh, go up on the Beacon Inky World website tomorrow, so members, you know where to find it. Also, it will then go across our socials and our LinkedIn profile, uh, so we'd like to go over it. Guys, thank you very much for your time. Uh, great having you here. Hopefully, you've learned something. Catch you all later. Go and have some dinner. Thanks, Jay. Thanks, Stuart. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. That that's some of the highest SSI scores I've seen during a session. So I think I'm I think I'm sitting at about 52, 53. Nice. That's yeah. great. Look, punching above your weight. That's what you got to do. Well done. That's excellent. Right. And uh, we'll we'll share that freebie out to everybody as well. So thanks everybody for uh, for joining in. All right, Stuart. I'm going to go. Thank you very much, mate. Really appreciate it. Oh, my pleasure. Awesome. See you later, buddy. Cheers, mate. See you soon. Cheers, mate. Bye. Bye.